Hey there, welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. So we're looking at, and this is a timeless reading. Keep in mind, every reading is not going to apply to everyone. So take the parts that's for you. What's for you, it will just click, okay? If it's not for you, throw it on out the door, okay? Throw it on out. All right, so let's, I'm going to try to get as many stories as I can get. And we're trying to take a look at why didn't you get the job? Why didn't why they hire you? What's wrong with them? They missed out on a great employee, huh? Let's see. Why did they hire you? Sweet spirit, what's going on? So clarity. Why didn't they hire? My words are here. It's too cold. Hmm. Okay. So it looks to me. There's a victim mentality here that someone feels like they picked up on. So somebody, and I'll keep going. So far, someone, whatever you said in the interview, on the call, gave them a red flag that you were a victim. Okay? And it's funny because I did pick up this before I even picked up these cards. That somebody, there was somebody that came to mind where the the attitude was already like i don't have the job or all of these things happened in my job in the past my boss was this i had co-workers that were that this job was toxic whatever you said no job wants to hear anything negative about a previous job right because there should be something that we learn from something good one thing i would never do in an interview would say anything negative stay away from it the only thing I'd probably say negative that would be like if they ask you, you not know, ask you a question, um, what did you do at a time you had a uh, upset customer and blah, 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 right? I would probably say something like, oh yeah, they were mad, they were furious, blah, 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 but I calmed them down. You see what I'm saying? And I know it may even sound like a lie, but whether we like it or not, in an interview, you're selling yourself, okay? And I feel like though, what I'm getting Somebody or the universe, God, whatever you believe in, was trying to give you guidance on this, but I feel like somebody didn't pick up on the guidance. Someone also, I do see that there's whoever I'm picking up on today, there was a bully from a previous job. And you, I get that. I agree, I, you should be validated for that, but that is not something you want the job to know about because regardless, they will see it as, well, maybe they were the troublemaker, right? Because there's only your side of the story. So even if you, like, let's say something happened at your job, right? I wouldn't say it because I'm gonna tell you, HR, y'all, whether you know it or not, HR is about the company not about the employee, three, three, three on the clock. They're not. They're there. They they say a good game. We're here to help you. We're here to protect you from sexual harassment. And you take 15 courses, right, every year. But in actuality, it's to protect them. Matter of fact, if you don't believe me, you can research it on YouTube. There's a um there's an HR lawyer on here who also talks about that. I already knew this because I've had experience with stuff like this. So Yes, I get it, but that's not something you want to share because then they look at you as being the problem, even if you weren't the problem at all. They don't want any problems at their company because their company is perfect. And so they're looking for the model employee. So they will steer away from anybody that complains, anyone that has a victim mentality, any issues that if you had another job, I wouldn't mention it. I would talk around that, okay? Yeah, even with the, the thin fatale here, I'm definitely picking up on some women. Men too, but I definitely, because, mm. yeah, I feel like 
And I feel too, some of you I'm getting as well, they did a credit check for your job and you didn't make the credit check. I think that's unfair because everybody has all types of situations, especially, come on now, we're in, an, let's be real, it's a depression, it ain't no damn recession, right? We're in a financial crisis. I think that's unfair. So I'm getting some of you, they denied you because of your credit or credit score. That's jacked up. I did see that too for a job uh, recently when I was looking on um, LinkedIn and I was like, yo, that's messed up. <laughs> like that's messed up. I'm like they doing that. I remember hearing it before, but I didn't really think they were still doing that kind of stuff. So yeah, I see that as well. Somebody was rejected of because of their credit score. Anything else, sweet spirit? So again, I understand and I'm sorry you had to go through that. I've been through stuff like that. My daughter who's sitting in the room quietly has also been through something like that. So we're all too familiar with this, especially women, regardless of what they say and women are in power, unless you work for an all women's company, it's a farce, okay? It's a farce and women really do get treated unfairly on these jobs no matter what they show on television we know and i feel like you know i can i i totally get it all right let's see oh yeah also i just saw a storyteller so someone okay someone may have lied on their background check or drug test or something okay um and they caught that or they caught a lie of some sort so somebody lied on their application Dates on the application, I'm picking that up as well. Something was lied about. And so they didn't, therefore they didn't even really, cause I see somebody just, they looked at it and they just kind of tossed it. Would have been nice though if they had said, hey, the date, the dates aren't right. But so, you didn't want this job anyway, because their energy is just like, whatever. They, they should have known better is what I'm getting. They should have known better. And I also see martyr. Again, there's somebody else I'm picking up this energy of self-pity. You cannot do that in a job, okay? You cannot do that in an interview, a call. They don't care, y'all, about the sob story. 7.33 on the clock. I'm gonna be honest, they just don't care. I wish that they did, but especially corporate companies, they don't wanna hear it. They don't. They'll act like it, and they'll smile in your face. Yeah, we'll give you a call. Mm -mm. it's a lie it's a lie okay so i think that's pretty much it i don't have to go this is not long at all i hope you found this helpful and trust yourself let's let's hold on i don't want to leave you like that okay what does the divine want to tell you today okay because you're not there are jobs out there for you don't give up on you okay even my thing says, my, my thing, my, my little picture here, do not tolerate disrespect even from yourself. Disrespect is when we don't stand up for our worth, what we know we are worth. Don't take that low paying job if you know it doesn't work for you. But let's be reasonable as well, right? Don't be silly. If you've been, you ain't had a job for eight to 12 months, then you either need to tweak something or maybe you need to look into another field that maybe you can get a certificate. Maybe you can take some courses and up, you know, your resume, something. Because after like 12 months, is that's a long time, y'all. There's, no, there's jobs out here. Now, is it a job you want? Probably not. But if it's something that you can at least do and feel comfortable with until you can get with a plan or get a better job, that's better than having nothing coming in, okay? Um, you have to do something because sometimes the universe is shifting us. Were you unhappy at that last job? Did you even like what you like, you know, doing the job? Were you treating the other coworkers like crap? You know, maybe it's time to move on to something new. Okay. So the divine, yeah, clearly. Thank you, sweet spirit. You're looking for a job. You will find a job. There is employment out there. It just, just might be time for a change, okay? I am optimistic. The divine is saying stay optimistic. Stay optimistic in your search. Stay optimistic in your interviews. 
there are jobs out there. Regardless of what they're talking about in the news, stop watching news, stop listening to the social media if that's going to help you stay focused. Don't even bother with that. You just focus on what you need to be focusing on. Show up every day, 10, 10 o'clock, as if it's a job. It's a job looking for a job, isn't it? So show up every day, look for those jobs, right? And then be positive in your interviews. Do research on here on YouTube, how to do a great interview. I've done that before. How to do a great interview, the right questions to ask. Interviews to me are like a breeze. I'm telling you, I've had so many jobs. I can get a job like that. You give me an interview, I got you. I got you, boo. <laughs> I got you. Because I've done it so many times. And then I've researched, I've studied, I've researched, so I know what they're looking for. Know what they're looking for. And what they really like is when you, you know, research about the job, find out, look through it, and see if there's anything you like and highlight those key things. And sometimes, let me give you a trick that I do. And I know most people don't do this. I will look something up about their business and I'll find how it applies to my life right so say i'm going to sell i don't know say i'm i'm going to go work for an apple right and i'm going for an apple job i would be like reading about apple everybody knows a lot about apple but because you don't want to tell them everything that everybody knows do a little research right and then tie the story and say, you know what? Yeah, I have an iPhone and I absolutely love my iPhone. And talk about the exact features that you love it and why you would love to be a part of that company. You see what I'm saying? Or if you don't have one, oh, my husband or my friend, my cousin has an iPhone. You know, I've been looking at the iPhone. Maybe you didn't really want it, but you have checked it out, right? I've checked out the iPhone and I do like this feature right here, but don't tell them what you don't like. Don't tell them that, you see? There you go. There's a tip. Go ahead. My cash app is right there on the about section. That's pay worthy. Okay. Now the divine saying you are fearless. You are. You are fearless. And keep that in your keep that in your mind. Don't forget that. You have to go with optimism, not pessimism. Right? And sometimes it can be hard. Like I said, you may have to get away from some folks for a while. You may have to get away from social media. You may have to get away from news. You may have to just take a break because you don't need to hear that because you are being what? Optimistic. Okay. And you might even need some of you might even need to level up a little bit. Tweak that resume. Maybe get some help on that resume. Research. See, because some of y'all, I feel like you are discounting some skills that you have that you can get paid more money from. Again, cash up in the about section because I just, I schooled you again. <laughs> the divine is saying, I am peaceful. So don't be upset. Try to be chill. Try to relax. Take a breather. I've been there. I, I get it. I know what that's like. I get it. Get it. More than you think. All right. So I hope you found that helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to find me again, hit the subscribe button that will uh, and the notification bell. That way you can find me again. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. Peace, love, and harmony. Good luck on your job search, but you don't need it, sweetheart. All you need is optimism and be fearless. Go out there and sell yourself. You got this. I didn't gave you tips. And let me know. Send me an email at Reading Life's Journey and tell me about the job you got. Tell me about all the perks. I want to hear about it. Thank you. Namaste. Take care.